Hello and welcome. Today, we are integrating our automation engine or controller, which is AWX, into our source control or the repository for our playbooks and script, which is GitHub. In keeping with making this as beginner-friendly as possible, we have a newly installed AWX. We did this in our last episode. Can you refer to the video in the description on how to do this? And we have a newly set up GitHub account. We don't even have any repository created. Before we delve into the integration, I would like to walk you through the components of the AWX dashboard. So if you look at the left panel, we have views, resources, access, administration, and settings. In the views, we have a dashboard that gives us a summary of what is going on in our environment. So number of hosts, inventories, project. We have this graph that shows our job runs. We can see the jobs that have been successfully executed and failed. Because this is a new install, we've not had any jobs executed. We can look at executions for the past month, for the past two weeks, for the past week, and all of that. And under jobs, we'll have details of the specific jobs that we've executed. And we have schedules, which allows us to automate execution of jobs. So think of this like a time-based trigger that would tell AWX when to execute a job template, workflow, you know, or sync uh, inventory automatically. Basically, this is like a cron job, but with some cool features. Then we have our activity stream that shows us what we've done, workflow approvals, so we'll look at it. So that's for views. Then we have resources. And the resources, we have templates. Think of these like playbooks with some cool features. Then we have credentials, which are stored authentication details that AWS would use to connect to other environment. So for example, when we connect to our Git repository today, we'd have to create a credential that allows us to connect to our Git repository. Think of projects as simply our repositories. So today we would create a project that will attempt to sync to a repository in GitHub. Then we have inventories, which are simply a group of hosts. In our next video, when we integrate into Netbox, which is our single source of truth, we'll create an inventory and we'll see our host automatically populate from Netbox. Then we have access. And the access, we have organizations. AWS can be multi-tenanted. An organization is simply a container, a logical container that is used to group users, teams, inventory, projects, you know, all these constructs in AWS. Then we can use this to also enforce role-based access control across resources. So in our scenario, we can have Velox Bank as an organization. Then you can have users within that Velox Bank organization. So under access, organizations, users, and teams. Then we have administration. The basic things that you do will touch on notifications and execution environment and your general settings. So the first thing we'll do, actually, before we move on to GitHub, is that we'll create an organization. And we'll call this Velox Bank. We can give a description, but that's all. Just that we would need. So we have our organization, Velox Bank, then would create a user. I'll add a user Edmund, then we'll have a password. We'll confirm it. We'll give this admin rights and we choose Velox Bank as an organization and we save. So now we can log out of this, then we can log back in as Edmund. Okay, so we've logged in as Edmund in our Velox Bank organization. Now let's look at our integration. So we have GitHub. We'll create our first repository. We'll call this repository Netbox. We'll make it private and we create. To be able to add files to our Netbox repository, we'd we'll have to clone the repository onto our local machine. So let's try and clone this. So we'll use the SSH option. 
I have VS code right here, which I would use. We do get loan the other repo. Well, it says that we have an error. Please make sure you have the correct access rights and the repository exists. We know for sure that the repository exists because we just created it. So it must be an issue with our right. Now, before we can clone the repository, we should be able to authenticate from our local workstation onto GitHub. And we can do this using SSH keys. So we have a key pair, public, private key pair. We put the public key pair on GitHub and we keep the private key pair. It looks like we don't have that. So let's generate a key pair. We use the command SSH keygen. Type of key is RSA, bits 1496, and comment. Let's call this packet to purpose. So we generate our public private key pair. We keep the name, no passphrase. So we have our key pair generated. Let's take a look at it. So if we check our key pair. So we have this key pair that we just generated. We would need the public key pair to put on GitHub. So I'll copy the public key pair, the content, and I'll do same for the private because we would need it later on. So this is my public. I'll copy the public key pair. Then I'll come to GitHub settings. SSH and GPG keys. I'll add a new SSH key for this packet to purpose. I'll paste this, save, I'll confirm my password. Okay, so we have our SSH public key added and we have our private key on our computer. Let me copy the private key also. We would need it for a different purpose. Okay, so with this done, let's clear our screen and let's attempt to clone our repository again. Good, so we've been able to clone our repository. So it says that we have cloned an empty repository, which is correct because we just created the repository. There are no files in it. So let's add a file, we add inventory, .yaml and we add this into our inventory.yaml file. Don't worry, we would go through this into detail in our next video when we are integrating into Netbox. For now, this is all that we need. So let's save this. Then we check. We have to navigate into our Netbox. We have this file, so we'll do a git add. Then we do a git commit. Then we push this. So if we come back to our repository, we should have our inventory file in it. Good. Now that we have a repository set up, we go back to AWX and we attempt to create a project to pull that repository. But before we do that, we need to add a credential that allows us to authenticate to GitHub. So let's call this GitHub. Then I select Velox Bank. Credential type, AWX ships with a number of credential types that we can select. So AWX, we can have Cyberag, HashiCorp, OpenStack. In our case, we would need to use source control for this. And later we might use network for networking devices. So we select source control, name, package to purpose. Then we copy the private key of our key pair and put it right there. We had no passphrase, so we save. So now we have our credential that we expect to be able to use to authenticate to our source control, which is GitHub. Let's proceed to add a project now.
A project is simply a repository. So we call this Nerdbox Dynamic Inventory. Organization, Velox Bank, you can add a description in the interest of time. So we'll, we'll look at execution environment later on in our next video when we look at integrating into Nerdbox. Source control type, get. Then we have to indicate our source control URL. So we come back to GitHub. We go here, then we can select this URL. We paste this URL. We'll deal with the main branch. So let's just add that. Then we select GitHub as our source control credential. So basically what we've done in creating this new project, we have a name. We can give a description. We selected our organization. We don't need an execution environment in this case. We selected the source control type, which is Git. We added the URL to Git. We said we'll do the main branch and we selected the credential that we'd use. We'll discuss these options when we actually start adding and using playbooks. So let's say it is trying to authenticate and sync with a repository. If everything is okay, you should see this, that your last job status was successful, which means that AWX was able to authenticate to GitHub and that it was able to pull or sync the repository. So this is a source control revision at this time. Ends with F4E. If we go to our repository inventory, we look at the last commit, you see that right here, which means that AWX is in sync with our repository and that you can rely on the playbooks, files, scripts in the repository to execute any jobs. So at this point, we have our AWX, which is our automation engine, successfully integrated into Git. Next, we would integrate AWX into Netbox by adding an inventory. If you find this helpful, kindly hit like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.